Bronchopulmonary dysplasia, BPD, is a chronic lung disease that primarily affects premature infants who require mechanical ventilation and oxygen therapy. It involves inflammation, abnormal lung development, and impaired pulmonary function. This video will cover BPD's causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, complications, and future research. Bronchopulmonary dysplasia is a complicated condition involving inflammation, fibrosis, and abnormal lung development. Inflammation is a key factor, with pro-inflammatory agents damaging the lungs and impairing their development. Understanding these mechanisms is important for developing treatments for BPD. Preterm infants, born before 28 weeks, have a higher risk of developing bronchopulmonary dysplasia, BPD. Factors like low birth weight, gestational age, prolonged mechanical ventilation, and prenatal inflammation or infection contribute to this vulnerability. Early identification helps in prevention and appropriate management. In BPD, clinical presentation varies with disease severity. Symptoms include tachypnea, retractions, cyanosis, and respiratory distress. Diagnostic criteria incorporate oxygen requirement, duration, radiographic abnormalities, and pulmonary function test results. Chest X-rays reveal hyperinflation, atelectasis, and bronchial wall thickening. Pulmonary function tests monitor lung function and disease progression. Radiological imaging, particularly chest X-rays, plays a critical role in diagnosing and monitoring BPD. Infants with BPD often exhibit radiographic abnormalities, such as hyperinflation, atelectasis, collapsed lung tissue, and bronchial wall thickening. These findings are reflective of the chronic lung injury and abnormal lung development observed in BPD patients. Furthermore, the severity and distribution of these radiographic abnormalities can provide valuable insights into the prognosis and response to treatment in affected infants. Inflammation is a central feature of BPD pathogenesis. Inflammatory mediators, including cytokines and chemokines, contribute to lung injury, impaired alveolar development, and fibrosis observed in BPD. The pro-inflammatory response is often triggered by prenatal infection or inflammation, as well as mechanical ventilation and oxygen therapy after birth. Targeting these inflammatory pathways has emerged as a potential strategy for preventing or mitigating the development of BPD. Early identification and intervention to modulate inflammation may help improve lung health outcomes in preterm infants. Pulmonary function tests PFTs, play a crucial role in assessing lung maturity and monitoring lung function in infants with BPD. PFTs measure various parameters, including lung volumes, airway resistance, and gas exchange, providing valuable information about lung mechanics and respiratory function. Infants with BPD often exhibit decreased lung volumes, decreased lung compliance, and impaired gas exchange. These tests aid in stratifying the severity of BPD and guiding treatment decisions, such as optimizing ventilator settings and respiratory support strategies. Management of BPD focuses on minimizing lung injury, optimizing respiratory support, and promoting lung development. Respiratory support techniques, such as mechanical ventilation, high-flow nasal cannula, and continuous positive airway pressure, CPAP, are commonly employed to provide adequate oxygenation and minimize barotrauma. Pharmacological interventions, including diuretics, bronchodilators, corticosteroids, and surfactant replacement therapy, are used to manage the symptoms and complications of BPD. Individualized treatment plans, incorporating a multidisciplinary approach, are essential for improving the outcomes of infants with BPD. Bronchopulmonary dysplasia can have significant long-term consequences on respiratory function, growth, and neurodevelopmental outcomes. Children with a history of BPD are at an increased risk of developing asthma, chronic respiratory symptoms, and impaired lung function in later life. Growth retardation and developmental delay are also common in BPD survivors. Identifying and addressing these long-term complications is crucial for providing appropriate follow-up care and optimizing the overall well-being of individuals affected by BPD. Infants with BPD often face unique nutritional challenges due to their increased energy expenditure, respiratory difficulties, and impaired growth. Adequate nutrition is essential for supporting lung growth and development, promoting optimal weight gain, and enhancing respiratory function. Strategies such as increased energy intake, appropriate macronutrient composition, and fortification of breast milk or formula may be employed to meet the specific nutritional needs of infants with BPD. Close monitoring and regular nutritional assessments are essential to ensure optimal growth and development in these vulnerable infants. Prenatal factors, such as maternal infection and inflammation during pregnancy, have been implicated in increasing the risk of developing BPD in preterm infants. Infections, particularly of the placenta or amniotic fluid, can trigger an inflammatory response in the developing fetal lungs, leading to lung injury and impaired lung development. 
Understanding the mechanisms by which prenatal factors contribute to BPD development is crucial for implementing preventive strategies and developing targeted interventions to mitigate the risk in at-risk infants. Genetic factors play a significant role in determining an individual's susceptibility to BPD. Studies have identified specific gene polymorphisms and genetic variants that may predispose infants to the development of BPD. These genetic differences can impact lung development, inflammation, and the response to injury, thereby influencing the risk and severity of BPD. Further research is needed to elucidate the precise genetic mechanisms and identify potential genetic markers for risk stratification and personalized management of BPD. Ongoing research efforts aim to better understand the pathogenesis of BPD and develop innovative strategies for the prevention and treatment of this condition. Promising areas of research include stem cell-based therapies, regenerative medicine approaches, and targeted interventions to modulate inflammatory pathways. Additionally, advances in molecular genetics and personalized medicine hold potential for identifying at-risk infants and tailoring management strategies accordingly. By staying abreast of the latest research findings and breakthroughs, healthcare professionals can optimize their approach to managing BPD. Bronchopulmonary dysplasia, BPD, is a complex condition with various factors to consider. Understanding its mechanisms is crucial for effective interventions. Ongoing research offers hope for better outcomes and therapies for BPD prevention and treatment.